man, that uh, that Small Arm Solutions LMT interview was phenomenal. If you haven't watched it, it's long. It's like an hour and fifteen minutes. I I I, I found it fascinating because you know I mean I've, I've graduated to a point over this last two years where I understand why LMT is so revered, uh, why their components are so expensive, which in the grand scheme of things, they really aren't. The whole get what you pay for. But it was fascinating to watch an interview with the founder, Mr. Lewis, uh, that basically covered the inception of the company, where he got the ideas, and every stage of development of all their rifles and... Uh, I love Small Arm Solutions. I think that, I mean, he, he's my go-to whenever I'm curious about something. When he posts a video, I watch it. Uh, he's knowledgeable. He knows his stuff. He doesn't have an ego. He's not your typical YouTube chill, right? Fucking A. Small Arm Solutions. Two Rottweiler endorsement right there, brother. Uh, he's just a cool cat, man. He knows his stuff. He's been around the block. I don't know what he's barking at. Uh, some sort of ADHD squirrel in the tree or he hears a, a liberal talking two miles away mm -hmm. anti-gunners even my dogs hate them uh, but dude that interview was phenomenal I watched every second an hour and 15 minutes I'm sitting here with my on speaker uh, just like 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 a kid waiting for a carnival ride, just like all happy and shit. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, one of my main takeaways, I have a newfound respect and understanding. I already did, but it reinforced it on their, their EBCGs, all their rifles in general. It cemented my desire. I want an MRP upper for that for the LMT lower. What I really want... What I, <laughs> Ozzie, stop it. What I really want is a 10 OLMT build. Uh, another takeaway, I think my first 308 is going to be an LMT. I think that's going to be the... Because I've been wanting one. I don't need one right now, but I want one. Once I can get... But I want to get the money together so I can buy the, the entire rifle. Uh, and... A suitable optic for it uh, and I don't know on the 308 LMT we're gonna have to go big on that bad boy it's gonna have to probably be something like a night force uh, something that's got a little range you know that's a 1500 yard gun basically thousand to fifteen uh, so we're, we're going to need some really serious glass. You know, that'll be a, a bench shooter going for accuracy. Uh, once I join up at, at, uh, um, at the Volusia Club, I think they have a 600-yard range, and they I'm not sure exactly. But I'm starting to find there's a lot of cool ranges in Florida within uh, two, three hours driving range. That I didn't know about. I keep stumbling onto them accidentally. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun ride. Now, the, the financial side of, of all these wants, I mean, it, it's big time. It's, uh, you know, those turntables are probably going on the block. I had a dude knock on my door yesterday. The dude I met, him and his wife, about a year ago. And he saw a few of my videos when I was doing my DJ thing. And he's like an old school breakbeat guy too from back in the day. He knocked on my door randomly yesterday. And I was like, who the fuck is that? And I opened the door and it's him. I, I, I don't even know his name. I forget. I, I met him and his wife once. They're like old school ravers from back in the day in the you know, 90s. And, but now that everyone's growing up. And He's like, hey. I was, uh, I'm trying to get rid of all my, I have all, he has lots of awesome old school vinyl. He said, I was wondering if you're interested in buying some of my vinyl, because I'm, I'm, I'm going digital. I was like, dude, honestly, I'm selling my tables. I'm like over it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm selling my tables. I just, I did my thing. 
Uh, I lived that fantasy for a couple of years, and then Facebook kept fucking muting all my mixes, and I didn't have that many people watching them anyway. Uh, so I had my fun, but, you know, my attentions have diverted into something more practical and, and all that. And I mentioned, yeah, I'm, I'm into building guns now, and, and learning and shooting and evolving. Was, oh, really? Yeah, I, maybe you could come over to my house. I have a, a scope. I'm having a problem with it. Like, what kind of scope is it? How much you pay for it? He's like, oh, it was, like, it was expensive. It was like $300. I was like, yeah. If you're, having, <laughs> if you're having a problem with your glass at $300, uh, he has asked me, do you know a gunsmith? I was like, dude, if your $300 scope is fucked up, throw it in the trash and buy something decent. And I, then he, he was trying to get me over at his house. I was like, no, nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. Maybe they're swingers. Maybe, maybe they, they want a little Jake America action. I don't know. Not today. Not today. Yeah, that uh, LMT interview was phenomenal. Anybody that's a fanboy on LMT or just learning or want to learn about the origins, I mean, great interview. Lewis is really humble. What a cool guy. You know, he started hungry, didn't have any cash, clean bathrooms, made his way up. At Springfield, and uh, you know, launched his own company. I love those kind of stories. They're uplifting, you know. Humble guy, cool dude, you know. I mean, you can tell he's a suit now. He's rich as fuck. But I like to see them came from nothing and created an empire, and they're so respected. LMTs are just the bee's knees, man. That's what you want. I want, I want their 308. And, I, and that Estonia rifle is pretty sick. Now, that's a lot of money. That'll happen eventually when I can do it. I think a more realistic goal is to offload a, some stuff. I really want my MRP, bro. I want that MRP. I don't know what size yet. I mean, the Radian's 11.5. The new Suns build's going to be 11.5. The ADM's 11.5. So, scratch 11.5 off the list. <laughs> I got those covered. Um, I don't know what... I haven't looked. I know for the LMT, sometimes their barrel sizes can be a little, you know, strange. Like the Estonia is a 14.3, not a 14.5, a requirement from the New Zealand Army, or whatever they're called. Um, one thing I found really odd is that per request of the of, from New Zealand... They're rocking Holosun magnifiers? Is that like a budget thing? I, was, I started laughing. I was like, really? I just sold one of those. Really? Holosun? Not, you know, EOTech or Aimpoint? What the fuck is he barking at? All right, whatever. He's doing his job, right? Great interview. Take the time. If you like LMT at all or you're curious, watch that entire interview. I, I'm going to go watch it again. I enjoyed it. Uh... I really want some more LMT in my life, you know. Uh, I think for my first 308, I think the LMT is a great way to go. We're going to have to have some sweet glass on that bitch. I don't know what the ranges are of that. Uh, I'm guessing it's a 1,000 to 1,500 yard gun capable of. Uh, you know, a 1 to 8 or even a 1 to 10 probably won't be enough. You'd have to make the jump up to, you know, a 2 to 20 or something like that. I don't know. But, you know, pie in the sky, you know, unless I have a bunch of cash drop on my lap. But, yeah, definitely want one of those. Um, but, like I said, the realistic goal, I really want to throw a, a proper MRP upper on that LMT lower. We'll find a, a purpose for the uh, the upper I built, which was for the Radian. It's a good upper. The V7 Enlightened, it's billet. The upper alone was three and change. It's rocking the Tri R13 9. It's rocking the FCD 12.8 RHF and a Knox, properly gassed. Shoots like a dream. So it's a good upper. You know that may go on something else in the future, uh, but. I'm kind of laser focused. I want my MRP upper. I'd love 
a spec war, but good luck finding them. And even more so, they're not cheap, you know. A proper MRP with the barrel, all done up. You're looking at twelve to fifteen hundred for the upper. Uh, whether it's spec war or shovel nose, you know, that's the range, which is not bad. It's solid. It's mono. Throw a proper aim point on that bitch. I mean, you're never losing zero. That's a ride or die shit hit the fan. Uh, defend my life kind of fucking setup right there. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, I highly recommend you check that interview out. I thought that was golden. Uh, first tonight, somebody asked for a gun collection video. I mean. My whole channel is basically my collection, dude. You want me to go through everything? I don't have... A, I have like three pistols right now. I sold a bunch of them. So I don't have anything really too impressive. I don't have anything super Gucci. Or anything like that. For DFC level shit. I mean, I have some decent stuff. Um, you know, the Radiant's a, a sweet cat. The Green Geisley's a sweet little cat. The ADM, my baby, that's a sweet cat, you know. And a handful of others, but what the fuck is he losing his shit over? I don't hear a thing. I don't know. Having fun there, dude? Don't break any screens. This shit was exp Hey, enough. Ozzy, relax. Sorry. Um. Watch that interview if you dig LMT or you're curious. Ozzy's losing his shit. Somebody's pissing him off. I don't know. And probably anti gunners. He can smell them. Liberals. He loves their tears. They're delicious. <laughs> All right. Uh, and as far as uh, tonight, uh, I'm not touching any uh, live firearms. I've had a few beers. I have been dragging ass on getting. I have those two more wall mounts I haven't put up. I know where one's going, to the left of the TV, so we have three. The other one's probably going below the other wall. I don't know if I'm going to go high and move the Palm Coast sign up higher, but that'll be a little hard to reach, or if we go a little lower, down to the left of the uh, of the mag rack. He might do that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just chilling right now. Uh, if the build will... I'm gonna hold off on that and see what's up. All I'm, uh, I'm, I'm anxious to get my uh, freaking LRF lower from Sal over at Redacted, so I can uh, throw that thing together. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be another ADM type build. Uh, you know, that's gonna be one of my babies. I had hoped it could have got like a 13.7 or 12.5, but, you know, fucking Lander had it all done up, ready to go, 11.5, assembled by a pro and seracoded by Sal Carrillo at Redacted. It was like, you know, fuck it, happy birthday to me. So, whatever, 11.5 is a good medium range type of fucking setup, man. You got your CQB action, but you have the ballistics to reach out to three, 400 easily, so... More about, it's all about training more than anything else. I think I do some good stuff. Now, the 13.9 in that LMT, that's another powerhouse, you know. But, yeah. Watch that interview. It's pretty cool. All right. Not sure if I'm going to do anything with those mounts tonight or not, but you'll know when I know. <sighs> Excuse me. Getting, getting old. Getting tired. I've been up since 5 a.m., though, so give me a break. A little bit better. A little bit better. Oh, Daddy got the pear pear. Need to go away. Need to add you too. Yeah. What are you barking at, brother? Anti gunner liberal over there? No, go get him. Get him. <laughs> Peace.